And once I got hold of the material and saw the documentary about when it takes place, it's just such a very rich time, uh, that period, the 70s, which is really going back in time now. Uh, but uh, I remember the event as a kid, and I remember the news coverage on it, and I remember that um, it, was, it was a big deal what was happening uh, and what that movie meant to society and what she did. And she's a very interesting uh, mystery. And, uh, and the surrounding characters, um, it's also, it's, it's so steeped in that time, you know, which, is, which I find interesting. It's, you can really feel what made the 70s a sort of unique decade, or a part of it, you know, different than where we're at now. I think there's an affection, which I like. You know, you wouldn't expect a mobbed up guy who puts the money into the film and really cares about the profit only. But he's also a guy that's not really familiar with porn, so when he's on the set, you know, I, at least as, as I play it, he's uh, kind of excited and titillated by it. And, and I think that there's, a, there's something about her he just, I, I think he, you know, maybe even a little bit in love with her inside. They're very supportive and very kind of in an interesting dynamic. I've uh, never been directed by a team, but they kind of work as one. Even when, you know, when they both come on, they're, they're, um, they're very specific and um, totally non-interfering. 